don't get them a big bag of coffee. Get them a small bag of coffee and spend the same money. Hey guys and welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Ko, and today we're wrapping up the year 2021 with the gift guide. Yep, uh, I know it's a little bit late. It's after 1212, but here are some things that you can order that hopefully will still make it in time for that loved one who maybe likes watching the channel. Um, so what we've done is we focused a lot on coffee and just a little bit on sneakers, uh, just to give you guys an idea of uh, what to buy in different pricing categories. Now we'll start somewhere in the middle and then we'll go cheaper, talk about coffee and then we'll talk about sneakers in the end. Uh, but in general, we'll have gifts that range from the 500 peso range uh, all the way up to what 5,000 for a bulk of them and then right at the end we'll have your more expensive you know 10,000 20,000 peso gifts so let's get started right away with this this is one of my favorite grinders uh, majorly because of the price now price is always a consideration when you're picking uh, your coffee tools because you want to be able to spend more money on coffee and we'll talk about that a bit later but first let's talk about this this is the time more c2 grinder or the chestnut grinder now this is an all metal grinder or mostly metal grinder i should say that i would say is the baseline for how uh, how little money you should be spending on a grinder you should not be getting a grinder that is cheaper than the time more c2 now this grinder if you buy just the grinder with no um, no bundled in coffee or anything like that you can get this on shopee from time more ph or time more philippines for 2200 pesos now they have a bigger version called the C2 Max and I will recommend that you go up and get the bigger version. Now we've been using this, we've been really happy with it. The Max version fits more coffee, that's the only real difference. Um, now this one is good enough for making two pour overs, me and my wife, and my wife actually uses this more than I do, she uses this almost every day. For the two of us, we will grind 30 grams of coffee inside of here and that's pretty much a full chamber in fact sometimes only 28 grams of coffee will fit inside the chamber and that's good enough to make you know a 30 gram to uh what would be a good number 30 grams of coffee to 450 ml of water it's a good baseline both of you end up with about 200 ml of coffee now i do want to talk quickly about why i like this grinder so much one is the metal parts right there is some issue with this plastic bit breaking sometimes um, and that's something to keep an eye out for but you can buy replacement parts and then inside you see that the burr inside you see that the burr is a nice metallic burr with some really nice teeth in there now can you buy better burrs yes you can but you're gonna be spending 10 15 thousand pesos um, and for the price this gets you 90, 95% of the way there. So if you want to buy someone, a coffee lover, a grinder, and this is gonna be a recurring theme, how to get something that the coffee enthusiast in your life will actually like and will actually enjoy. Get them the right stuff. Don't be fooled by the motors, don't be fooled by the electric. If you're buying electric grinders, you probably should not be spending under 10,000 pesos, and we'll get to that in a bit. So that's my first pick, the Time More c2 grinder or the c2 grinder max now our other pick i don't have with me today it's actually at home we have the time more fish kettle and we did a big review um, on that for the three pour over kettles that we think are kind of the best ones in our market today and we put that up on our youtube page and you guys have been watching that a lot so if you have not seen that video yet watch it so you can make an educated uh, decision when purchasing a kettle but if you are on a budget on time more shoppy page you can see that it's actually selling for 3880 right now and if you order it right now there's a strong chance that you will get it in time for the holidays for our favorite brewing device a little bit of a curveball we've actually decided to go with the love ramix three cone brewers and I got them over here we actually did another video on this a couple of months ago or maybe about a year ago when these first came out but you know for the coffee enthusiast these are really cool because it gives you a lot of options in how to brew your coffees and they're not that expensive um, it's less than a thousand 
for each individual cone. You can get them at El Capitan. Or you can get the set together with this brass ring and this glass carafe, which is actually my favorite uh, carafe or range server for any of the coffee servers that we've been using all year. But you can buy all of the parts individually and each of them individually, except for the brass ring, are under a thousand pesos. So that's a really good pick for brewers. If you want to know more about each of these cones, we do have another video about that. And you can click on the link up here or down in the comments uh, section down below or in the description, one of those, uh, and learn more about these brewers because they do make a difference. And for the coffee enthusiast, it is nice to have this kind of toy, tool to play with and not be so serious like a lot of brewers will be out there saying just get a plastic v60 and i'm one of those brewers but you know christmas it's it's about the toys right sometimes i think for the vast majority of people who celebrate christmas a lot of it is about the toys so get a toy and i'll put this off the side and that brings us to coffee i do want to talk about a number of other coffees that um, we think are a good idea to give now let's talk about the 500 peso range and for that we have some selections from plain sight coffee that we've been tasting throughout the season that we really like the first one is this the kahawa bora single origin from tika kenya now this coffee is something that we've been drinking a lot over the last um, three weeks to a month it's become very much like our daily coffee here in honeycomb it's something that's delicious tasting notes of lemon blueberry lavender tea it's got a good balance acidity and it's really easy to brew which is super important when giving a gift because you never know how they're gonna brew it um, but you do know that this is a good fruity coffee for the coffee lover for someone who's already into specialty coffee this is an excellent gift and it costs 500 i think 550 pesos now up next oh no i think this is 570 570 pesos also from plain sight and this is for the other end so if you are a coffee lover who's giving another coffee lover a specialty coffee enthusiast a gift this is what you give them for 500 pesos now if you are on the other side and you're a specialty coffee enthusiast and you want to get someone who is into coffee but maybe not is not yet a specialty coffee enthusiast you know you kind of want to bring them in have something that's a little bit more understandable a little bit more palatable literally uh to those people then plain sight also has this this is their christmas blend and it's called kindred and it blends coffees from papua new guinea and colombia tasty notes of black tea orange peel and pecan there's a lot of chocolatey notes in here some nice christmas packaging and one of the things that i like about coffees like this is that they're very understandable and easy to brew it's just a balanced blend and this is one of the ways that blends can really serve us is in uh, comfortable <laughs> uh, taste profiles that people can uh, brew at home and would enjoy in any way so this is a coffee that will work great in an espresso machine it says it's a medium roast but this will work well in an espresso machine as a pour over it's kind of like an omni roast you can do cold brew anything and they'll have delicious sweet coffee that has notes of chocolate but also has notes of you know orange peel it has the acidity and it has that nuttiness that pecan that is so popular with coffee lovers everywhere so that's our pick this is 550 pesos and both of these coffees you can get on the plain sight website which is plainsight.coffee but maybe you want to spend a little bit more on coffee and you want to spend a thousand pesos now this is very important and if you are into specialty coffee and you're maybe afraid that people are gonna send you the wrong kind of coffee for christmas and that happens a lot um it does happen a lot where people who are known to be into coffee and love coffee get sent coffees that maybe they don't like or they don't want or it's the wrong quantity which is actually a problem so that's something really important to note is that if you have someone in your life who you want to get a gift of, spe of specialty coffee don't get them a big bag of coffee get them a small bag of coffee and spend the same money so for example you have the brazil cerrado and it costs 1100 pesos for one kilo of coffee that sounds like such a great deal that sounds amazing and it is a good coffee but if you give someone who's grinding on a hand grinder a thousand grams of coffee and they're going to be grinding it 12 10 grams at a time 
they're not going to be able to finish that coffee while it's still kind of in its peak freshness or when it tastes best. So it's almost like you're giving them a problem of how fast they're going to go through that coffee. And the other thing there is that it's not really that special. Like that's kind of like the base, baseline specialty coffee and what you want to give as a gift on Christmas is kind of a treat, something extra special. So for around the same price on that same website, for 1,200 pesos, you can give them a Colombia Geisha. And what they have here is a Colombia Luna Bermudez Geisha. I just uh, tasted this last week. It's an experimental Geisha uh, produced by one of the most important producers in our industry and culture today, Diego Bermudez. Um, farmed at an altitude of 1,900 meters above sea level, this year's crop, this is a double fermentation thermal shock coffee with tasty notes of blueberry, bubblegum, raspberry, and grape juice. Doesn't that sound like nuts? If you take that same uh, amount of money, you take about 1,100, 1,200 pesos of, of spending capital, right, of cost, then you spend it on a nicer coffee that is maybe, you know, only 100 grams. If you ask the specialty coffee enthusiasts which one they would rather have, I promise you, eight out of 10 of them would rather have the better coffee or less of the better coffee. So our pick from the Good Cup website will be this Luna Bermudez Geisha. We tasted this a few months back uh, and I did have the pleasure of, uh, of having it served to me by the owner of the Good Cup, Philippine Brewer, uh, Brewers Cup champion, Gio Visitacion, uh, just last week or, or not even last week, just a few days ago, about five days ago. And it is still something to behold. It is still a very special coffee. And then from Crema and Cream, right here in Metro Manila in Quezon City, you have from their exquisite collection, the Finca La Aurora Geisha from Volcan Tierras Altas, Chiquiri in Panama. Now, Chiquiri, Panama is one of the most famous places for uh, growing geisha coffee. La Esmeralda is from that same area and it is very well known um, for, or very famous worldwide for coming out with some of the greatest coffees in the world. Uh, we've tasted it already, it is delicious, but I'm gonna make one right now so we can talk about it while we talk about the rest of our gift guide. This is 1,600 pesos um, and it is worth every peso. If you give this to someone who understands what the gift is, they will be so happy. Um, even if they finish all this coffee between Christmas and New Year, you know, it, it can really make the holidays for them. So this is something to consider, 1,600 pesos. Let's make some now and talk about the rest of our gift guide. So we're gonna take 15 grams of this coffee and we're now going to grind it on our next pick, which is this. I always have this in my videos. This is my favorite brew grinder. This is the Barazza Seti 270. It got some bad press early uh, because of some of the issues that it was dealing with. Uh, it had to work out a lot of kinks on the technical side, but this is a grinder that is half the price of the niche grinder that does almost everything that the niche grinder does. I would argue that this is a better grinder. Pound for pound, it definitely is a better grinder. It is also a conical burr, and it is also a zero retention grinder. Now, sometimes you'll take a, a, some coffee like this, grind it through, and it will lose some weight, meaning not all of the 15.1 grams may show up, but most of the time what you're losing in that, uh, in that weight is actually the carbon dioxide that's trapped inside. And a lot of people don't think about that. Gases do have weight. The Barazza Seti costs around 20,000 pesos, a bit more than 20,000 pesos, uh, and you get it at El Capitan. So my other pick for grinders would be the Barazza Encore, which sells for 11,800, and that is the baseline for electric grinders, if you ask me. You can get something like the Breville Smart Grinder Pro, which, uh, which will go all the way to espresso, does both espresso and brew, but it, you know, pound for pound is not necessarily a better grinder. It can just go finer and do espresso. So as you can see, the SETI has ground the coffee and we didn't lose any gas weight in this situation. We still have 15.1 grams of coffee, which is the same amount of coffee that we put into it. That's how nice this grinder is. Uh, that's what we call a zero retention grinder, meaning nothing gets stuck inside the grinder. 
And generally speaking, that's true for your hand grinders as well. So you can expect that same kind of um, one is to one ratio, more or less, with your C2 hand grinder. All right, so for our brew, we're gonna use that same uh, Love Ramix cone, one of my favorite ones. I believe that this is the mellow cone or the smooth, um, but this one is, is actually my favorite right now after playing with it for a while. Uh, the filter that we're using is a cone filter. This is made by Origami, which is one of my favorite filters, um, or it's branded Origami and made by Cafec. Now washing the filter throughout the water, and now we're ready to brew our coffee and talk a little about sneakers. So I'm gonna put the coffee in there and then with a teaspoon, I'm just gonna make sure that it's all very well distributed with a little divot in the middle. Sometimes use the back of your spoon to get that in there. And at a ratio of one is to 15 water to coffee, we are going to be, uh, or coffee to water, we are gonna be adding 225 ml of water in total. We expect to get about 195 uh, yield in terms of coffee and or drinkable coffee I should say so let's get that started and while we make the coffee let's talk about some sneakers so my picks for sneakers um, two of them are sneakers that we've actually reviewed this year now the first one is a recycled sneaker and these are actually some of our most popular uh, videos from 2021. The first one would be the Air Max Pre-Day, which is a very, you know, highly recycled sneaker. Actually, they're both highly recycled sneakers, come to think of it. Um, and the Air Max Pre-Day has been one of the most comfortable pairs that I picked up this year. And a lot of people have been enjoying the video as well online. Now, I lent my pair to one of my artist friends. Uh, and while well, we were painting one of the basketball court murals, and uh, he said that like it was the best sneaker for painting, for walking around, that it was so comfortable. Um, and so I just let him have them. Um, so I don't have a pair, and I actually want to do a pick up a pair. Um, in terms of colorway, they don't have that launch colorway, the original colorway that I actually really liked a lot. Um, but they do have this really nice V True colorway with the rainbow swoosh on it. So it is a more special um, colorway versus that first one. So it is a nice pickup and a nice gift, especially if you have someone who is involved in the LGBTQ, um, I plus movement, IA plus movement, um, or is an avid supporter of such or just likes rainbows and likes color. So that's my first pick. Uh, retail, they cost under 7,000 pesos. They cost about uh, 6,000 something. And right now they're on discount, so you can get them as low as 5,000 pesos. Uh, my next pick is the Air Vapor Max 2021, which, which is surprised to me, was another big hit video on our YouTube page this year. So thank you guys so much who watch and have subscribed because of that video. It's really been nice to see, and I, I was really happy that a lot of people liked that we contributed something to the discussion about the Air Vapor Max that, that just was not in YouTube or in the discussion up until that point. If you haven't seen that video, you can watch it on YouTube and we'll include a link up here above or down in the comments below. Um, that is my second pick. Uh, it, it's a super comfortable shoe. It's one of the shoes that I have worn so much this year with or without socks. They're nice and breathable and they are super comfortable. If you tried Vapor Maxes before and found them uncomfortable, I urge you get to a store and try these on on foot because it will change your mind. The, there is still a bit of a break-in period, but they are comfortable from the start. Um, and you'll see in that video some of the reasons why. And my last pick for sneakers will have to be the OG Nike Air Warachi celebrating 30 years this year. That is one of my favorite, honestly, it's one of my grail pairs of sneakers. I didn't get to pick one up this year. Uh, I've been waiting on the colorway that I want, and I've also been waiting on, um, actually really want the flight version, the basketball version of the Air, Nike Air Hirachi. Uh, but you can get those for as cheap as 3,000 pesos right now. And uh, from all of the sites that we recommended here on this video, I do think that more or less you will be able to get your delivery in time for Christmas. It might be close, um, but you will be able to get them if you order them today, especially from Nike.com. My experience with Nike.com is that 
Uh, packages never take more than five days, even if you don't pay for expedited shipping. I don't know how, if that's really changed because of the holidays. Um, so you might want to double down <laughs> and make sure that, you know, and pay for those, uh, for, pay for the express shipping. But even if you don't, um, there is a good chance that it will arrive on schedule. All right, so our coffee is finished brewing. It took about four minutes for it to brew, to draw down. Let's just give it a little stir before we give it a sip. All right, so if you remember, I said we'd get about 195 ml of water, and we've ended up with 192 ml of water, um, which is perfect. All right, so to taste this coffee, I'd like to invite Nika, who happens to be here in studio today, and she'll come and join me. Here's your coffee, dear. So we'll give it a nose. Mm. Spicy, floral, and the coffee came out really good. Some nice wild berry notes. There's a note here on the packaging of fruit jelly. They say orange fruit jelly, sweet and floral. Definitely sweet, definitely floral. I can understand why they say mixed jelly. And I think that's more like a result of the mouthfeel. Mm. It's kind of shulushi. But it is an exquisite coffee. Is that what they call it? Yeah, exquisite collection. Uh, so it is definitely an exquisite and tasty coffee and a great way to wrap up the video. If you like anything here, we'll try to put comments or uh, everything in the description down below. For the most part, uh, we don't really have affiliate links. But we might put the recommendation recommendation link from um, from the Good Cup because we have one of those. And uh, if you do buy one of those coffees, we get a little bit back to spend back in the Good Cup. So <laughs> um, if you want to support this in that way, we would appreciate it. It's been a fantastic year um, here on YouTube for us. Honestly, like I know the numbers don't look incredible, but honestly, the response and um, being able to be monetized and get money back from this thing that we've basically been doing at a loss um, not just for free but at a loss for a while it's nice that it's uh, finally coming to a point where it's starting to pay for itself so if you are enjoying that and you do want to encourage us to keep making these videos all we ask on our christmas wish list is please click subscribe and tell a friend about it you have anything you want to say honey thank you <laughs> thank you del <laughs> And Merry Christmas. We wish you guys good luck. We wish you good health. We wish you a great end to 2021. And here's to 2022. Peace.